Can you imagine a play being put on without any of the actors, directors, or producers ever coming together to rehearse? Yikes. That play would likely turn out to be a disaster. And the same goes for any of your projects. The way you start or rehearse a project will set the tone for how the entire project will go. That's why making a great client kickoff meeting is a good practice before starting any project. So let's get into the do's and don'ts of a kickoff meeting. The first tip is not to make the client kickoff meeting a discussion about project scope. While it may be tempting to want to talk about things like costs, deadlines, and project tasks and goals, be sure to steer away from these topics. Instead, make sure to discuss the expectations around milestones, rounds of review cycles, and how to make the entire process more efficient. The second tip is to do an internal kickoff meeting with your team, as well as, and here's the secret, a pre-kickoff meeting with your client before the actual client kickoff meeting. Holding a pre-meeting with the client is a straightforward way to make sure that the official project kickoff meeting runs smoothly. Since this is a one-on-one -on -one meeting between the project manager and the client lead, you can meet in person over a bubble tea, a meal, or a video call if meeting in person isn't possible. The purpose of this meeting with the client beforehand is to have all expectations clear and understood. Seize the opportunity to establish rapport with your client and gather as much relevant information as possible for the project before the kickoff meeting. It's also important to have a one-on-one -on -one with your client where you can share the details of the project and how it will be managed. Having too many people involved could make the discussion more complicated than necessary. Simply put, focus on how you and the client can work together in the most efficient way possible. Before the official kickoff meeting takes place, it's important to define the objectives and the agenda for the meeting so that you actually look like you know what you're doing and not like this. Today, we're going to be talking about... Once that's ready, make sure to send it to the client in advance to give them time to give you feedback and to add their own discussion items to the agenda. It's important to plan to cover the following points during a kickoff meeting, such as, why are you doing the project in the first place? Be sure to ask and answer what business needs the project fulfills based on the business's goals. What is the solution or deliverable? Discuss what you are going to achieve by launching the project, what project process you will use, and what the requirements for the project are. How are you going to ensure the project gets done by working together? Make sure to address each team's role, how you will communicate, and how any risks, issues, or changes will be managed. When will the project start? and when will it be completed? Going over the entire project timeline is an important step. Where is the starting point for the beginning of the project? And who is going to do what? Covering all these bases is a great indicator that you and your team are ready to finally get started on the project. The last tip is don't make it boring. You want everyone to be excited about the project and to work together. Would you rather be in a meeting like this? With our employees? Clients. Oh my God, kill me. Or one like this. Sort of a where's Waldo? Oh! <laughs> Think of ways to get everyone fired up for the kickoff meeting. Try to facilitate an interactive and dynamic atmosphere where everyone can participate and maintain a fresh, upbeat atmosphere throughout the entire meeting. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. For more information about running a great project kickoff meeting, be sure to check out the article in the description box. Thanks for watching. <laughs>